kwa sababu ya wataki kuona yule mtu ambaye anaelewa na shida za wakenya yule mtu ambaye baba yake hajakuwa kitu yule mtu ambaye alikuwa dhamiriwe na kutazamiwa kuongoza taifa letu ameingia barabara ya kuongoza ndio unaona wote wanapika kelele wanaume nane wanakusanyika kupika mwanaume mmoja na sisi tunajua Mungu anasema watakukuia na njia moja lakini wakiondoka itakuwa saba Naibu wa Rais ameweka rekodi katika taifa letu. Mimi nakwambia we umetumwa na Mungu na umesaidia hata watu wengine kuokoka. Maisha yangu sijaona Raila mbele ya madhambao akipiga magoti ya ombewe. Ni safari hii baada ya we kumsukuma na Ukristo mpaka anauliza huyu Ruto hii nguvu anatoa wapi? Anaambiwa na watu wake kanisani wacha niende nikaombewe. Lakini kuna mikakati ambao amesahau. Lakini kama Mungu amekutumia tinga akaokoka, hewala, wacha iendelee. <laughs> Walikuwa wanaona ukisema uchumi kuanzia chini kwenda juu. Uchumi ambao ni wa mahasla, wanasema hakuna hasla inaweza kuendesha inji hii. Leo Raila anaongea mambo ya hasla. Kalonzo anaombea mambo, anaongea mambo ya hasla. Mundavadi anaongea akifika mbele anasema asla lakini uchumi yote ni kitu kimoja sasa wamefuata barabara yako eh ningependa tuimbe wimbo unaosema bwana usehemu yangu bwana usehemu yangu rafiki yangu wewe katika Safari yangu twatembe yana wewe pamoja na wewe pamoja na wewe katika safari yangu twatembe ya na wewe mali hapa siku ili ni heshimiwe yani kutema shaka sawa sawa na wewe pamoja na wewe pamoja na wewe na yani kutema shaka sawa wana wewe niongoze safari ni Bele uni chukue mlango ni mwambingu ni ningi ye na wewe pamoja na wewe pamoja na wewe mlango ni mwambingu ni ningi ye na wewe aya asanteni sana yangu James Maskofu mlisi wasifiwe Baitomu ya Aseo 
continue to wait upon him. May he remember you. May he renew your strength. May you be ashamed. You are enemies. Having that one there. We are here to you. Amen. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Ebu munisalimia hewani hivi. Bwana yesu asifiwe. Amen. sana. They are fighting the bottom-up economic model because the big four agenda was premised or was anchored on the bottom-up economic model. If you look at food security and agro-processing, it is premised on the bottom-up economic model. Manufacturing right from cottage industries, the housing agenda was all premised on the big four agenda to transform Kenya, create jobs and create wealth for the ordinary Kenyans. The reason they fight the bottom-up agenda, the only reason, Your Excellency, why they deliberately sabotage the big four agenda was because it was going to empower the masses and the hustler nation. Na hawataki siku wewe ukiwa mwananchi wa kawaida utakuwa empowered. Sababu wanataka wakubebe kwa chombo ambacho ni chama cha kikabila. Ili wao peke yao wao ndio wanaweza kaa kwa meza kuongea mambo ya inchi na venye wataendelea kupata mali na wewe uendelee kuwa mtumwa. Ukisikia tukiongea ya kwamba ni mambo ni bottom up na unajua watu wengi wanachanganyikiwa wanasumbuliwa hasa wanasiasa wengi they are they don't understand either intentionally deliberately or because they don't understand for real hii mambo ya bottom up ama mambo unasikia wanahangaika sana na wheelbarrow mimi nataka niwaambie gentlemen do not be consumed by the simplicity of the wheelbarrow. You must know behind the simplicity of the wheelbarrow is the revolutionary bottom-up economic plan that seeks to give jobs to the jobless, promote enterprise for the business community, and ensure that farming is modernized. That is the symbolism of the wheelbarrow as a basic instrument of work. So you can as well tell us the complexity of the orange, if you wish, instead of being obsessed with the simplicity of the wheelbarrow. Ama? Eh, sini namna hiyo? Eh, kwa sababu tunasema hii wheelbarrow mnaona ni kwa sababu tunasema tunataka kuanza chini. Mahali yule ambaye hana kazi pa, kwanza tumpangie kazi vile atapata. Na yule biashara yake ni ndogo kwanza tuanze na hiyo ndogo tumpangie vile hiyo biashara tutaikuza. Na yule mkulima ambaye hana uwezo huyo tuanze hapo kwanza mahali padogo kama hiyo wheelbarrow lakini nyinyi pia mnaweza kutueleza mambo yenu ya hii umbrella mnataka ikae namna gani na hiyo ingine mko nayo na chungwa mtueleze ni namna gani na wale wako na simba mtuambie hii simba inakaa namna gani na wale waandovu na inge mambo ingine watueleze mambo yao ama namna gani tuwaje kusumbuana tunasumbuana nini <laughs> Kuna watu ambao atuelewi ya kwamba ni wafanya biashara ndogo ndogo na wafaswi kuwa wafanya biashara ndogo ndogo kwa sababu ya wana namna and this bottom up economic model ndiye itawasaidia I want to give an example kijana amesomeshwa university ame graduate na bachelor ya medicine that young man, not unless I end up with a case hospital in a mutu and dique, Mushara Lufukumi, I see his idea, my shani mwake. Bona sifiwe. So if this young man, through the bottom up uh, economic model,
we could get a way of uh, funding this young man to use his skills and start a new business, start a new hospital, start a new dispensary, and employ other people. That young man, within 10 years, he'll be in a position to pay back the loan he got from the government and also create his own job and also create employment for other people. So even the educated, even the middle class will benefit from the bottom-up economic model. Actually, the middle class will benefit more than the Mamambogas and the Mukokoteni people guys are saying. Look at somebody like uh, a dentist. A dentist who has just graduated from the university. What do you tell him to do? If he doesn't get a job from an hospital, the guy will just be loitering in the streets. But if the guy graduated from, from the university and had a way of being assisted by the government, walk to a place where he can get, be helped to get a room, the necessary equipment to start a dental clinic. Because we have so many people with dental issues. The guy within five years, he'll be in a position to pay back whatever support, whatever grant he had been given, he will have created his own business and he'll have employed more people apart from being employed. The guy will have created employment instead of being employed. So to me, the middle class, the educated people will benefit more from the bottom-up economic model more than even the Mabamboga we are talking of today.